What is up everybody, welcome back to the Car Desert Rally, and well, we finally got the 1.004.078 patch on consoles. I would say this is a little overdue considering the fact that this did release on PC like over a week ago, so at least we finally have this on console, so I did want to go over some of the things that they did fix and or, you know, mostly what this update is is probably going to be bug fixes anyway because we did not get any map updates or anything like that which by the way apparently we're supposed to get like the extended map update in november now i thought we were supposed to get in october but obviously with the saving issues and bugs and all that they probably couldn't get that patch out and or the update so hopefully we will see something with that in november but i do think a lot of players are pretty upset about that because so far i know the roadmap might be off a little bit and it could also make a lot of people wonder if this roadmap is even going to come out on time. And not only that though, free mode is still not in the game at the moment either. So you cannot actually like go around and check out the map like that. Really the only way to do that at the moment is to basically jump into an event and drive around until the game basically kicks you out of it because you know you're disqualified or whatever. But hopefully we'll see all that stuff in the near future before it's too late because I would say it's kind of insane how we're getting the update a little bit later than PC and I really hope that's not going to be a thing in the future. I'm sure a lot of players are probably going to be worried about that like is PC going to get the updates like two weeks early and then we get it on consoles and then we get it on consoles and we're going to get disappointed because it wasn't even that great on PC but again we're going to have to wait and see how that's going to work out but anyway guys getting into the patch notes on here so so for a couple of the new features they did add with this update is going to have the free custom play in the menu now so you can basically change like the weather and stuff like that Obviously, this is not going to be like an actual free roam, and I did actually do a race on this, and it's basically the exact same thing as like career mode, but you pretty much can change the weather and stuff like that and a few other things on the race, so it's honestly really not too insane for that matter, and that is basically it for that feature. And then the other thing they added was the note passed message when basically going through like a note or like an objective or something like that. Basically giving you that note so you guys know you did have that completed for better navigation, which is going to be kind of cool. But now moving over to the next thing is going to be the general bug fixes. So obviously the first one, I'm sure a lot of players did see this, is going to be the autosave issues are fixed now. So let me know in the comments below if any of you guys are still having that issue after this update. Let's hope not because I would say the autosaving issues have probably been plaguing this game since it did release, which is pretty unfortunate. So let's hope almost after a month after release of this game that that is finally going to be fixed completely. That way players... Can actually level up and get other things completed and probably progress through the game a little bit even though leveling up is probably not going to do all that much unfortunately but moving over to the other thing is going to be the improved ai to help the bots overtake the players and basically like drive a little bit better personally after a couple of races i could say that they didn't seem as annoying and or try to run into you as often but then again it probably does depend on what you're driving or like what happens if you crash maybe they'll run right into you but from what I can see right now, they did seem to be a little bit better in that aspect and they weren't all insane. Before they would like freak out and crash or run into you and like they really did not care at all if you were there. Now it looks like they're a little bit better off which is honestly going to be a plus. The next thing I also saw, you know, for the patch notes when this did release on PC again over a week ago is the fact that now the bikes are going to have improved handling for better counter steering which after doing a race on the bike I can definitely say I would say they're going to be a little bit better. I actually didn't spin out the bike once which was pretty awesome before i would pretty much spin out going down a little hill or going over like a little bump the bike would completely lose itself but right now i would say after the update the bike is going to be a lot better than it was so i would recommend trying out the bike again if you guys were having issues with that i'm really happy to see that they finally improved the handling of the bike and not only that we're also going to have improved handling on the quads as well my goodness I would say many players are probably going to agree that the quads were probably one of the most annoying things to drive in the entire game and it looks like after the update they are going to be a lot better when it comes to stability and counter steering as it was mentioned in the patch notes so I think a lot of players are going to be really happy to do that so if you guys have not used the ATVs I would recommend jumping on here and trying those once again because they definitely do seem to be a lot better. And then finally for the general bug fixes, I guess they did fix the incorrect country flag display on your character's profile. I personally have not taken notice of this because I pretty much have been only playing single player, but at least they did actually fix this if that was bugged out because I would say many players are probably going to be happy to see pretty much any type of bug fix on the game at the moment. And now the next thing they also did do is they added wheel support for a ton of different wheels for PlayStation and Xbox, which is pretty awesome. So if you guys do have a wheel, you can now test that out and it should hopefully work. 
It was honestly kind of crazy considering the fact that many of the wheels were not working on console and I would say a lot of players were probably trying to use a wheel on this game because it would probably make it a lot of fun and this is kind of considered like a simulation type of off-road racing game so using a wheel on this is probably going to be a really good time and or make like the experience of the game a lot better so hopefully as I did mention before that that is now going to work a lot better than it was and or you know actually work for that matter if it wasn't at all. And then moving over to some of the multiplayer stuff that was also fixed as well. So I'm not going to lie, by the way, guys, I really have not played multiplayer at all because I'm still playing the sport mode trying to get some of the vehicles unlocked, which was probably a challenge before considering the game wasn't even saving half the time. But luckily, I would say a lot of people can probably go after the vehicles now. And considering you actually have to play sport mode to get them is kind of unfortunate. But some of the things in multiplayer that are going to be fixed is like the vehicle lights not being on or off, which... Let's all hope with each update coming out is going to make this game a lot better and basically make the experience better for every player as well because I think a lot of people have probably been putting this game down unfortunately and are like not playing it like they should have been including myself to be honest so I'm really hoping this game is going to get better in time with like adding free mode and or all the missing events in the game as well because I would say not having that in here now we're in November we're probably not going to have it till probably the end of November into December if I had to guess I would say PC is also going to get the update first once again but hopefully I'm wrong on that because I feel like a lot of people want the update to release on everything and not PC getting it like two weeks early that could be because the game might be running a little bit better on PC but to be honest I really don't know why they're actually doing that, but let me know your thoughts on this patch so far in the comments below, guys. For me, the biggest takeaway on this update is going to be the auto-saving being fixed for every player, because I would say that's probably the biggest issue the game was having overall, because if you really can't save your stuff, what is even the point of trying to get in some of the longer events if it's not even saving that stuff? And if you get some vehicles unlocked or something, you get on the next day and all that's gone, I think would pretty much annoy anybody. So let's hope all that is fixed, but... Again, let me know what you guys think about this update in the comments below, and hopefully Dakar is going to improve more in the future.